better, but there's only four of them. So they actually only get 16 attacks, whereas the swordsmen get 18 uh, and have the large shield. But cavalry have a lot more hit points. Uh, they move faster, which is not a huge deal in actual battle. And they've got the first strike ability, which is actually quite worthwhile. And they cost just as much to maintain. They, they take twice as long to build. But what the hell, let's build an army of cavalry. And then we will turn that against the barbarian cities and see if they're good enough. We'll start kicking some ass. Uh, I don't remember. Did I explore this place? Nope. Oh, good. Another empty dungeon with more mana crystals. Excellent. No, sky drakes. God, those things are going to be hard to take out. Ooh, ghouls are going to be fine. There we go. First cavalry, and they'll just keep producing cavalry. Surprised I haven't met any of my neighbors yet, like the enemy wizards. Another cavalry, keep going. Neutral city here. Oh, hi men, good. I like that. Good race, so we're definitely going to want to take them over. Oh, we're short on food. Uh, can I just shortcut to a city from here? Yeah, good. So make more food. We gotta feed our army. But you see why the halflings, with the fact that they each each halfling farmer produces one more far one more food, is really valuable. All right, so Bashan the Dervish. This is our first hero of the game. He has just come and offered to join my army for a hundred gold. Uh, so heroes cost gold, and normally they have an upkeep. But this guy doesn't have an upkeep. Why is that? Well, he's a noble. He's actually rich. Not only does he not have an upkeep, but he'll actually give me 10 gold per turn. If I never use this guy for anything, and just let him like sit in my fortress, he'll pay for himself in 10 turns and just generate pure profit from that point on. So there's no reason to say no, especially at this point in the game. And frankly, he's not a bad unit. Again, these stats are deceiving. You're like, oh, his numbers are so high, he's got super hit points. But he's just a single unit in combat. So he doesn't actually do that much damage, and I won't want to get him killed. Luckily, these guys can level up, just like my other units, and of course, all the units as they level up get more stats. But heroes level up a lot. They have tons of available ranks, and they tend to get a lot more stats. So I'm going to hire him, obviously, because I've got the gold, and he'll pay for himself. Well, they keep his name of Bashan, but I'm just going to keep him in the city for now. Uh, he will get, like, one point of XP per turn. And let me go back to my city here. And open up Bashan. Uh, yeah, I guess this is where it says 20 experience points will go up a level. So he gets, I think, 1 XP per turn for free. And a lot more if he goes into combat. Uh, but he will level up as is. And there's different things I could do. Like, now I have enough mana kicking around. I could cast Heroism on him. Which brings him up to Elite, which is like 4 or 5 levels higher. Um... Which is pretty good. The maintenance cost would just be 2 mana per turn. I can also use it in combat. It costs me 20 in combat. Cost costs me 100 overland. Well, normally, but it's only 70. Why is it 70? Because I get 30% off, I think, because of all the life books I have. So that is the bonus of stacking life. But then you lose variety, you know? Um, so I could buff him that way, and then he would actually be pretty competent in battle. But I don't want him to die. Not yet. And we need more food. We get another spell. So we've completed our plane shift spell. This is good. So what does plane shift do? Well, the game actually has two planes of existence. The one I'm on, which is called, I think, Arcanum, and another one called Mirror, uh, which is much more highly fantastic. Um, the races there are a little bit crazier. You get trolls, you get dark elves. Um, the uh, the various nodes and temples and stuff are guarded by a lot more dangerous stuff, but the rewards are better. Um, so at some point, I want to be able to plane shift over there. Let's see, what do we got? Some enchant items, summon hero. If we wanted more... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The summoning circle spell is good. Uh, and there's not really anything left for me to explore here, is there? We'll just finish off that little corner, but eventually we'll send him home. Another cavalry. Patrol, and we'll let we'll get one more. Alright, so 
let's move our cavalry out. And this one's actually got a little tiny circle. It might be hard, really hard to see on YouTube. But he's actually gone up a level. So these guys are all recruits. But this guy's been sitting around long enough that he's a regular now. So he actually gets an extra sword. I think he's got one higher resist as well. Uh, so that's awfully nice. And so we're going to take our cavalry. So we've got our six cavalry. And we're going to move it down to this first city, which has actually grown up enough to be a proper city now. But they probably have better defenses. So we're going to reevaluate once we get there. And then we're going to get these guys to build, a, build us a shrine. <laughs> so what's in the city? We have six swordmen. So... It's so not great, but I think we can take them. I'm going to do a quick save first. Uh, we do have magic on our side. Neutral cities don't get any magic, but if we were attacking another wizard cities, then it would be a whole other thing. <clears throat> so combat is a turn-based uh, tactical combat. All right, so spells. We can heal, true light, which is not going to help us here. Bless, Holy Weapon, Holy Armor. Holy Weapon would give us a plus one chance to hit, which I believe is 10% chance, basically. Um, so it's actually really valuable. Uh, it gets better the more number of attacks you get. So, we can move... Right, two squares. Now, I want to be very careful. To use the uh, first strike ability of the cavalry, we have to make sure that we are attacking and not just defending. So they're going to move up one square. Okay, that'll be okay, because we can... Although, we could just position ourselves, like so, and like so, and not do anything, and they'll scooch up one more tile, and then we'll be able to rip into them with all of our troops. So I'm going to do that. There we go. And let us start with the outside guy here. Oh, very nice. So we haven't lost a unit... Uh, although we took t one of them took a tiny bit of damage, but we killed three of the swordsmen, so that's really really good sign. And we can actually attack twice per round. Oh wow, this is super easy. Make sure to finish that guy off. Kill this. Oh, we can just automate the rest of the fight. There's not even any reason to cast spells. Totally dominated them. The first strike is a big part of the reason that we did, and uh, the fact that we had extra hit points kicking around meant we won't lose anything. So we could raise the city uh, if we didn't want to bother with, uh, I don't know, the maintenance or something, or whatever, but I don't see any reason to do that. Plus, you lose fame, so I'm going to say no. In fact, we gain one fame. Anytime you're in a battle against more than four enemies, you gain fame from winning that battle. Um... We got some gold. We did kill some people. Sometimes buildings get destroyed as well, but that didn't happen this time. So I'm going to move my spearmen down here. And so our city shrunk slightly. Barbarians. They've got a builder's hall, a smithy, a barracks already. Well, that's good. They got a little bit of stuff. I'm going to go with the granary thing again. Food is life. Very important. Although, you know what I probably need? We'll build a couple of spearmen just to defend the city, because I'm not going to keep my uh, cavalry here. We're going to move them out. Um, we're going to give them another turn's rest. Now, everyone's level up a little bit, which is awfully nice. I'm going to give them another turn's rest just to heal up. Yeah, they're mostly healed. And I think they'll heal on the run, so I'm going to move them over here. Spearman almost done. Patrol, we're going to build a second spearman, and then we'll call it good. Have I explored this place yet? I don't think so. You there. Go there. Oh, another empty dungeon. A planner travel spell. Oh, that's excellent. So, what does this one work as? Allows the target... Oh, it's an enchantment. You put the enchantment on someone, like on a unit, and then he can travel between planes at will. Okay, so what do we've got defending this city? We've got seven swordsmen. Well, we just defeated six without taking anything but a scratch, so seven I think will be perfectly fine as well. We'll employ the same general strategy. Strategy. Don't start saying it that way, because if you start, you won't be able to stop. And every time you go to say the word, you're going to like 
possibly say it wrong. Okay, we're going to do the same thing as last time, just get everyone in position, hit done, force them to walk right up to us, and then we'll be able to unleash with two attacks. Like so. Ooh, wow. What the hell? Oh, these guys are veterans. And thrown. Yeah, well, the throne the other guys had too, but veteran, that's what's fucking me there. Are these guys all veterans? Okay, this is going to be a lot harder. Did I finish with that guy? There we go. The reason I'm switching units between the attacks is because, like, this one's slightly damaged. Uh, which means, you know, I have a possibility of losing one of my guys, so I'd, I'd rather split the damage up a little bit so that, uh, to try to keep as many of my people intact, make the subsequent fights a lot easier. Okay, we're still going to be okay. Um, move him right up here. These guys are going to gang up on this guy. Good. Done. 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 Yeah, see, he only got to attack once because I moved him first. Okay, we're going to move this guy back. Move this guy up. There we go. So, oof, we took a lot more damage. But we've got ourselves another city, and that is what counts. So, uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll build a couple of units of spearmen here, just to act as a garrison. See, Pashan's getting XP, just sitting around at home. And we're going to leave these guys here for a little while, because we want them to heal up in the safety of a city. I think they heal faster in a city. I'm not sure, but I think so. Oh! Zaldra on the stage. We got another hero coming. This one's a caster. Uh, so you can see his melee sucks, but he does have a pretty powerful ranged attack. Uh, better than uh, Bashan, who is an archer. Um, but uh, this is actually magical. Uh, I think it represents the... Maybe they use the resistance instead of armor to defend against magic. I'm not sure. But, uh, again, you know, he's going to be a little bit squishy in combat, uh, so I don't want to send him out in battle right away. But, he is a sage, which gives him th me three research points uh, per turn, per level of him. So it's three right now, but it'll go six, nine, twelve as he levels up. He's also a caster. So, in battle, he actually has the ability to cast spells. Uh, right now, he only gets, uh, you know, seven mana. Uh, That's all he can cast in a single round. But, uh, that'll go up as he levels up. Plus, if he is in my fortress, which he is now, uh, or will be once I hire him, uh, he adds half of his skill to my skill for casting spells, uh, or overland spells. So I'm going to hire him and leave him at home. That's all drawn, the sage. The shrine, good, but we've actually had a food shortage, so I'm going to have to build a little bit more farming there. Okay, so the Animus Guild, that's good. Um... Yeah, let's build a temple. I want an animus guild. Okay, one more turn, then we'll move them out. Okay, he's got two spearmen, so I'm okay with that. No wonder we got a shortage of food now. And go and build a granary. And that's that is uh that's Zaldron, so we're gonna have him patrol. We'll keep looking around with our spearmen. Well, you have no shortage of gold, and in fact, I should really be using this stuff to uh, speed up some units. Alright, troops, what are we going to do with you guys? Is there anything we can attack? Do we feel safe attacking? Well, if it's just a Guardian Spear, we can definitely take that out. Ghouls might be okay.